David's request. I asked that to be added on there. Um, I just had some questions about the last meeting. I wasn't able to make the last meeting because I was snowed in. But uh, you're Mr. Martin, is that right? Yes. yes. I, I think I've met you once or twice, but. Um, I think we need to go into executive session or personnel, right? Um, so I'm not, so I don't, I'm not I don't feel so at this point. I mean, the invoices mm -hmm. were paid in public. Um, but oh, the okay. question was, uh, have we have we hired Mr. Martin? And yes. Oh yeah, he's been working for two months. Did we hire him as a commission? No. We took no action. No, it was voted down. <coughs> It wasn't voted down. I think Mr. Simmons withdrew his name. We mm -hmm. no, we uh, we voted on it. The vote was zero to three against. Okay. Yeah, a couple meetings back, I think. With three all months. three of them. With yeah. all three of you voted against, correct. and then we voted right. again to employ the two girls. Right. My concern, uh, Mr. Martin, I, I don't know uh, really, and I don't know really anything about the practice or 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 such. But my concern is that we're paying you and we haven't hired you. Right, I have the authority. As prosecutor, I have the right to, the, the authority to hire, the statute's clear on that. I have the authority to hire an individual to work for me. I, I read two parts of West Virginia Code that yeah. seems to me to, to make clear that the county commission has the, uh, only has, is the only entity with the right to hire employees, no. including the assistant prosecuting attorney. The right to approve, but I have the right to hire. Right. Um, yeah. Is there the statute? Well, let's let's do that so so we're clear. Um, yeah, we have I have a, a yeah, I have a little book here. I just want to make sure that we're doing this properly. Mm -hmm. It's seven seven seven, and I think at seven seven eight deals with the assistant prosecuting attorney. Don't lose my notes. <laughs> Under the thumb? Under the thumb or Here's 777, 778 is what I have to write. 7-7, county assistants, deputies and employees, their number and compensation, county budget. Um, the county clerk, circuit clerk, joint clerk of the county commission and circuit court, if any, sheriff, county assessor and prosecuting attorney Mr. Simmons, by and with the advice and consent of the county commission may appoint an employee to assist them in the discharge of their official duties for and during their respective terms of office assistants deputies and employees so that would be like Mr. Martin's assistant prosecuting seven, seven, eight. attorney I'll get there in a moment the county clerk okay that's for the county clerk um, but I, I read this part, so far anyway, as to say that may appoint an employee, sorry, and with the advice and consent of the county commission may appoint an employee. Advice and consent, but you don't have to approve it. I, I regard consent to mean approval. Let me read 778. Okay. Um, seven seven eight means... Assistant prosecuting attorneys, appointment and compensation, when court may appoint attorney to prosecute. Mm -hmm. The prosecuting attorney of each county may, in accordance with and limited by the provisions of Section 7 of this article, which I just read, so I don't think this replaces that. I think this is in accordance with. Uh, appoint practicing attorneys to assist him in the discharge of his official duties during his term of office. Any attorney so appointed shall be classified as an assistant prosecuting attorney and shall take the same oath, etc. And he's done that. He's done but all that. I regard this to mean in accordance with and limited by the provisions of Section 7. So it's my opinion that it is the County Commission's uh, right and responsibility to hire uh, the assistant prosecuting attorney. Oh, no, no, no. You have no authority. Oh, no. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Like you denied the consent. Mm -hmm. Three to one. Three to zero. Another question I have um, is that it is public information that there were, I don't know the latest status, I'll ask you for that, charges against you, Mr. Martin, on uh, driving under the influence. Nope. No. Are those gone? An obstruction gone? of an officer. Are those charges is this, gone? Okay, now, now, okay, are we having a public hearing now? We're talking about hiring an individual. Now, the statute's clear on that. 
that's done as a public individual. I agree. You it go is clear, and it's clear the county commission has to approve the hire. You have to go into executive session. No, they, no, they no. don't have to. They may go into executive session. It's been in the paper, so it's pretty public. <coughs> I move that uh, we go into executive session if we're going to discuss it before we got one getting the name calling and a bunch of stuff like we did before. And I think probably this is uh, uh, meets the statute requirement of discussing employee. So at this time for personnel reasons I need to go into the executive session. Pellin legally is not an employee, so you can't discuss it. I'll, uh, I'll object on the grounds that it's my opinion that Mr. Martin isn't at this stage an employee of the county. Yes, he is. He's part no, of the meeting. No. According uh, to the hey, invoices no, no, no. that hey, look, look. according to Are the invoices wait there. Wait there. We're going into a check your stuff. According according to the There's invoices that are submitted. <laughs> Is, are there any objections other than Mr. Clinton to the motion? Well, I too have some concerns because I was under the impression that to go into executive session we had to have him as an employee. So the only question I have is, is he considered an employee or is he's he an not? Employee. Considered I'm already not paying him. He's not an employee. He wouldn't be here to be approved if he were an employee. His invoice says he's. Since everybody's speaking, the circuit judge the has table. recognized me as the assistant prosecutor of this case. Mr. Seifer raised that question the other day, and the circuit judge made it real clear. And you can get to court record and look at it. The circuit judge I just said. just want to interrupt for a moment. There, there's okay. a vote on the table, and the vote should be allowed to finish before any further discussion. Well, now let's just be smart about this. How come, how come you let everybody else talk when I'm the prosecuting attorney and I represent you all? Mr. Simmons, and it, right, okay. as a matter of procedure, when there's a vote on okay. the table, the commissioners have to make their votes and their comments and that to carry on. Jamie, what's your, uh, are, there, are you objecting or are you supporting? Well, if he's an employee, I support it. If he's not an employee, I object. But that's the question I have and I'm going to refer to Mr. Simmons, our elected prosecutor, to he's, answer that. He's employed a hardy. He's been working for two months. He's been in circuit court on at least 15 cases. We assume that's a, a non objections then, so it's a vote to go in executive session. So at this time, we'll have an executive yeah. session over employees. Okay. Shouldn't last very long. Sorry, you can do it. We were staying in executive session. Can I object that he's not an employee? And I have to walk over. I've objected on, on that ground. On the he returned the check to uh, Missy. So she knows he's not an employee. No, she doesn't. She was in here, she was in here the other day. And she